Hey there, hackers! Now, it's a web installer, meaning that, you know, it's not gonna work if you don't have internet and you try to install it later. So go to aka.ms slash build tools. Scroll to the bottom where it will say build tools for Visual Studio and go ahead and download the web installer. So you wanna make sure that you use it when you have internet connection as soon as possible. And then you make a backup of the files that you wanna have if you wanna use it later on. Open the EXE, click the install button, you know, just go through the standard, you know, walk through the process. You see this beautiful window open up. Now this beautiful window happens to have a bunch of different tabs to control the details of the installation. We're not gonna to need to be doing any of that today. So just go ahead and click the first option, which is the C++ build tools. If you noticed on the right side, it popped up with a checklist of different options to get a little bit more in depth without getting too in depth. This is great if you want to download different versions of the Windows 10 SDK or different versions of the MSVC compiler, which I had to do in order to run hacks. So now that it's downloaded and done, give it a restart. You should be able to use the Microsoft C++ build tools. Now, is this really a good option? Maybe if you don't want to have a whole bunch of crap from Visual Studio installed. I understand that. I don't like the surfaces and I don't want to have to log into Microsoft every time I want to compile a C program. So at least you got that option. But if you're doing it smart anyway, you download something like Clang or, you know, you'd get MeanW or just use the Windows subsystem for Linux. I don't know why we need this today, but, you know, there it is. So thanks for watching and Hattie Hacking. Do not hear the echo from my computer. Ha 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 ha.